peace and welcome. Today we have our favorite Hideki Naganuma tracks in gaming. This will be one of the most unique top 10s when it comes to video games because Hideki's music is not your typical bleeps and bloops. It's way beyond that. So let's get this started. Number 10, Ska Cha Cha from Sonic Rush. Our first up today makes it for a few reasons. For one, Hideki sampled hip hop greats at Tribe Called Quest. The second reason is exactly what he did with the sample. It's not just an easy sample and insert job, he changed speeds and cut it up. Now besides that, the overall feel of the track has a ska feel, a funny choice for a Sonic game, but it works. Number 9, Sneak Man from Jet Grind Radio. Up next, we have a busy track that's full of energy. Hideki likes to put a lot of samples into his songs, and this one is no different. I have counted and found the source for about six or seven samples on this one, and we will be doing an oddly familiar episode on just this theme alone, so stay tuned for that one. Besides all of the samples, the fast tempo and energy it brings makes it a perfect fit for a game like Jet Grind Radio. Number 8, Get Edgy, Sonic Rush. Another fast tempo track that's full of energy. And the last one was from Jet Grind Radio, but what's a better game for a Hideki theme than Sonic the Hedgehog? Almost everything I would say to explain this theme could also be used to explain Sonic or Sonic games. Fast, furious, full of energy, no nonsense and to the point, as well as cool and funky. That's why I think Hideki was a perfect composer for Sonic. He brought life back to the Sonic realm. Number 7, Ain't Nothing Like a Funky Beat, Lethal League Blaze. First track on our list today that isn't from Sonic Rush or Jet Grind Radio, and this also happens to be the newest game on our list. Released October 24th, 2018, I have a feeling this one will no longer be the newest when Streets of Rage 4 comes out. I can speak for everyone in Uncanny X when I say we are looking forward to not only playing Streets of Rage 4, but also listening to the soundtrack. There are some legends working on that game. Anyways, for now, this is our newest, and I think it would be pretty cool if we could help Hideki get this to 1 million listens. He is close and has been asking for some assistance. Six, wrapped in black, Sonic Rush. And what 
I think is an underrated track, I have never seen anyone include this in their favorites by Hideki. Full of samples, including one by Martin Luther King Jr., I think the instrument selection is on point. Sometimes you have good beats with bad drums that ruin the track, or sometimes it's just a bad choice of snare drum, and that brings down the overall beat. Some of my favorite beats blend together a lot like this one. Nothing feels out of place, including the samples by MLK himself. Number 5, Technopathic, Jet Grind Radio. So this one gets put high because of the bass line, the samples, and the variations throughout the beat. One thing you can never say about Hideki is that his music is boring. It's not boring, and it's not just a simple loop that repeats a thousand times. There are a vast amount of changes and mix-ups. And yeah, on this one, the first 10 seconds sound like the last 10 seconds, but every other second in between is completely unique. I ain't a winner. Pay the front line, take the don'ts. He's coming out again for a new point. Get your bets down, ladies and gentlemen. Number four, Funky Dealer, Jet Set Radio Future. A track that has a little bit of everything. Funny samples, a funky bass line, and some horns mixed in there just for good measure. Then the track takes turn after turn for a very unique feel. And at the end of it all, I felt like I just had a long car ride. It almost wore me out. I kind of feel like I need a smoke after this one, and I don't even smoke anymore. It's busy, energetic, and a good beat for a game like Jet Set Radio Future. Number three, the concept of love, the concept of passion mix. Ollie King. So here's where the controversy begins. I put the remix up here and not the original. I just feel this one is smoother, cleaner, and a more all around slick feel. And that's more my style. Either way, this list was not going to be completed without some version of the concept of love. It's one of his classic tracks and deserves a spot in the top three. the baseline jet grind radio so as you may know we like hip-hop it's more of a simple beat than Hideki does usually I think everyone knows he likes a lot of instruments and he likes to make it a full-fledged beat this one is also a little bit slower than usual but everything fits together perfectly the only thing missing is some MCs, or some samples. I could hear Wu-Tang on this easily, or even some other groups. Maybe a tribe called Quest with their laid back styles, or even Cypress Hill and they could go all trippy on it. This beat has a ton of potential for a completed song. Before we get to number one, you know we couldn't fit all of his best tracks into a single top ten, so we have some honorable mentions.
funk to the top. Ollie King. Our top spot is not his most famous song, but it jams all the way through. Of course it has energy and that's pretty much a given. But with the groove and the feel, it has a classic hip hop feel, but with a modern twist and a whole bunch of changes and mix up. This is Hideki after all. You can't expect any theme of his to be the same all the way through. That's just not what he does. I really think that's what separates good composers from great composers. It's easy to make a three second loop and loop it a bunch, but can you take it to the next level? In my opinion, that's what Hideki does best. He takes his music to the next level and keeps it interesting by keeping the listener involved. The beats grow, the beats change, and you don't know exactly what's coming next. So I do gotta say, this was a very entertaining list to make. I don't know if Hideki has ever made a boring track in his life. And if he has, I'm yet to find it. If I had one word to describe his music, it would be the word life. He brings his music to life. Sorry for praising him so much, but as a producer myself, I am impressed by his work. What he does is not easy. These aren't beats made in five or 10 minutes. These took some time, effort, and lots of love for the craft, for which I respect. Our next list will be the top 10 Mega Man songs. We won't be including Mega Man X because that deserves its own list. For now, just Mega Man 1 through 11. Last but not least, I want to thank Gold Level Patron Zero Briggs. We are Uncanny X. I am ICC. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>